Well, the Los Angeles Dodgers are trying to pretend that they care about Christians now after that whole fiasco back in June with the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, that uh, phony group of Catholics that uh, got a Community Hero Award. And I've talked about uh, just how vile they are. And in no way, shape, or form should they ever have received an award or been platformed the way that they did. But the Dodgers' response to that was to host a Christian Faith and Family Day to try and balance out the backlash and everything. And, and, and well, now we have the guests that have been confirmed to partner up with the Dodgers. And I'm actually shocked by this. One being Chris Pratt, of all people. Yeah, we're going to talk about this in a second, guys. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, to walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, that's all I can do. Do me a huge favor as well. Hit that like button. It really helps us in the algorithms getting these videos out to more people. Share the video as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell. Subscribe. Yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. And also, if you guys could, consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do. You like my videos, you want me to continue doing this, guys, help me out with a generous donation. You can do it a few different ways. One, simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation. You can select any amount you want. Really easy to do here from the main video page. Or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link there in the description. When you guys sign up to the Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. Also, you're going to be alerted for all the content. That's not going to happen with just the YT notifications. If you're not already a part of the Patreon, you're probably missing a lot of my videos. You can also comment censorship free over there and send me direct messages. So check it out. Again, it's patreon.com slash news. Link there in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So this whole faith and family day that the Dodgers have put out. Now, it was funny because... They had announced it initially uh, back when the whole controversy was going on with the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence because the, the backlash against the Dodgers uh, around this time. Remember, this was all centered around their Pride Night when they were having the sisters there. They originally invited them, and then they rescinded the invitation after Catholic backlash. But then, because the backlash was, you know, coming to them uh, from the side of those in the Rainbow community, they re-invited them to the ballpark. Basically, just telling all those Catholics and Christians, yeah, we don't really care what you think. There were protests outside of Dodger Stadium that day that they had them there, um, and it was just crazy. Uh, but yeah, to announce the faith and family, and again, right in the middle of all that, that was very telling. Nothing more than a PR stunt. Now, the Dodgers have said here that, you know, we've had a faith and family day before. Now, they did back in 2019. Haven't had one since then. This is the first year since that they've done another faith and family night. Now, they, you know, they blame the pandemic. They didn't have it in 2020. Okay, but what about 2021 and 2022? Because you had pride, plenty of pride celebrations in those years, right? Not a problem with that. All of a sudden now, the Faith and Family Day comes back. It, you know, after four years, four-year absence. Come on. We know what this is all about. They care nothing about Christians at all. Now, the event is scheduled for Sunday, July 30th. And I find it funny, too, that they're having it on a Sunday of all days, which is, you know, a church day. And the people that have partnered up with them. Now, I, I'm just, I'm shocked by this because Chris Pratt, actor Chris Pratt, professing Christian, right? I mean, he gets a lot of backlash, right, from Hollywood because of his Christian faith and everything else like that. He has signed on to be a part of of the Dodgers so-called Faith and Family Day, where he will throw out the first pitch. Why is Chris Pratt teaming with these people? Okay, this is not a Christian faith and faith. They don't care nothing about Christians. It was on full display when they re-invited the sisters back to the ballpark to get their award. Okay, now if you want to see a promo, you know, for this event, I'll have a link in the description. You got Dodgers player Clayton Kershaw is the one that's plugging this with his wife and he's talking about, you know, Chris Pratt being there and, you know, they're going to have testimonies from players after the game. You know, they're going to be sharing about their, you know, and again, these are all players that, mind you, never boycotted the uh, the initial Pride Day uh, when the sisters were there with that award. They played and were perfectly okay with it. Now all of a sudden, we're going to tell you about our faith. And yeah, okay, sure you are. 
But yeah, for Chris Pratt to team up with them, I, I lost a lot of respect for him now. I, I liked him. You know, I appreciate a lot of what he's done. But to see him teaming with these people, uh, yeah, it for me, it just kind of goes right out the window. But not only is Chris Pratt going to be there, also worship artist Jeremy Camp is also teaming up with the Dodgers. And he's going to be performing during various times of the day. Uh, before the game, at the halftime, and afterwards. Uh, yeah, uh, big Christian singer here teaming up with these devils. Real nice there on Jeremy Camp's part, right? Uh, people are not happy with Chris Pratt. The backlash is already pouring in. Uh, also for Jeremy Camp. Uh, Camp has, all you know, in the past, even, you know, shown signs of being a little bit woke himself. So uh, his partnership with the Dodgers, not as surprising to me as Chris Pratt's. Um, and look, you know, I don't, the reason he's doing it, look, he's probably getting a nice check out of this deal, right? Go there, highlight Chris Pratt. You know, they get the big actor there, big Christian, right? I mean, they could use him as the face of this thing. I get what they're trying to do, but it's not fooling me. And it's also not fooling many other Christian groups who have been calling out this event ever since it was first announced, um, back when the whole sisters deal was going on. Uh, be very aware of who these individuals are, ladies and gentlemen, because, uh, deep down, we know that they serve Lucifer. These are not individuals that serve God, because if they were, if they truly wanted to put on a display, a display of you know Christian, you know Family Day or whatever, they would not be partnering with groups who oppose Christians. Sorry, you can't have it both ways, there, Dodgers. Okay. So, I hope that this continues to get called out. And again, you know, maybe there are going to be protests the day of this game. Uh, of Christians, I know, like the Catholic Vote Group, they're you know they're still going at the Dodgers in this whole battle, uh, but maybe there'll be protests outside of the stadium of those to call the Dodgers out for this uh, phony Faith and Family Day. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the uh, partnership here, Chris Pratt joining the Dodgers for this event, as well as Jeremy Camp? Sound off down below. What I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link there in the description. Remember too, when you sign up to Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You'll also receive the alerts for all the content. You're not going to get that with just the YT notifications. Or you can simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here to tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.